Aloha everybody, Kai Waza with you. We are looking at the Hawaiian record collection and we're in the letter H and let's pick up where we left off and take a look at some more Hawaiian vinyl. This is an album on R.C. Camden, Hawaiian Magic by Lucian Heitu. Lucian Heitu is an organist who I, I think, I don't really know much about him except he did lots of easy listening records. And uh, I think he is from uh, French Canada, Quebec, I think. I'm not sure. Here's a Hawaiian artist, Frank Kavai Hewitt, Makalapua Oi. He was a, uh, is, is whatever, a hula instructor, was a hula teacher, kumu hula, they call it here, hula instructor, and also a composer of many, many songs. This was, I think, the first album, 1982 that he did and of course this is sort of on the cusp of the CD era beginning so he has done quite a few other releases that came later but they are all on CD not on vinyl some very uh, beautiful songs I'm particularly fond of Mahalo Yaoi e Maui but lots of beautiful songs Here's a very famous entertainer from Hawaii, Hilo Hattie. Her real name, Clara Inter, but uh, she was known as Hilo Hattie. Recorded at the top room of the Hilton Hawaiian Village. She performed here for many, many years. Uh, recorded also with Harry Owens and his orchestra. And she is a comedic singer. You know, very funny lady. So most of the songs are in some way, you know, humorous, and she has some banter going on with the audience. Tony Lee presents Hilo Hattie. This is uh, my Hawaii. It's only one album, but it's a gatefold. I think this must have been like given away with this tour group or sold with the tour group or something. Tony Lee presents My Hawaii. Some of the same songs you'll see on all of her albums, but they're different recordings. They're not the same recording. And then this one you'll see, if I can get this in here. My Hawaiian Memories has a place for you to record memories from your trip, So, which is why I'm saying this must be you know, I don't know, perhaps this tour group went there or they just sold these at the show or whatever, I don't know. Hilo Hattie with the Hawaiian Village Serenaders. She had a different recording from the Hilton Hawaiian Village featuring Lonnie and the Hilton Hula Maids. Very funny lady. There's a famous song written for her when Hilo Hattie does the Hilo Hop. Maybe you never knew Hilo Hattie was actually a real person. 1965 this recording is from. Now we're up to uh, a group called the Hilo Hawaiians. They uh, had a national recording contract with DECA during the time period when Quite a few local uh, Hawaiian groups. Hawaiian music was very popular on the mainland for a while, and many uh, Hawaiian acts, good Hawaiian acts, had national recording contracts. Hilo Hawaiians, one of those groups. Beautiful harmonies, some great falsetto singing. On Decca. Memories of Hawaii, the Hilo Hawaiians. You can see here they're advertising 
other Hawaiian albums, Decca. Decca had quite a few Hawaiian artists signed. Now this one, I think this is actually their first one. This one was issued on several different forms, and this form I have seen used for different records. <laughs> you probably have too if you've looked very much on eBay or whatever. This is their, I think it's the Kila Hawaiian's first national album. Uh, Honeymoon in Hawaii. Voices from Paradise Hawaii host records. Um, but it was also put out, I think, on DECA and on in other forms. But this is a uh, huge, like, it's not just a gatefold, it's like a souvenir book, total book, um, with lots and lots of pictures, places for you to write memories from your vacation trip, little highlights of each island, lots of some historical information, blah, blah, blah. I'm not going to go through this whole thing, but there's just tons of pictures and information about different things you would do on a, on a holiday here. And like I said, I've seen this album, uh, this format also released on other records. I've seen some new uh, Maori groups and some other things where they have come out. So this Gila Hawaiians is not the only way you can get this uh, booklet. It seems to have been put out probably by Hawaii Host for several different things. A later recording by Bunny Brown was one of the leaders of the Hilo Hawaiians. Bunny Brown's Hilo Hawaiians. This is a later record. Lehua Records. I'm assuming um, there's probably a change in some change in membership. This is quite a bit, quite a few years later. And I'll put one more in here that is related to them as well. Your musical trip around the island of Hawaii with the Hilo Kalimas. Um, the Hilo Kalimas feature the Kalima brothers and I guess other members of the Kalima family. But the reason uh, I'm, I'm pointing this out is uh, Hilo Hawaiians, it's a lot of the same members that were in the Hilo Hawaiians. So vocally, you know, it sounds like the Hilo Hawaiians and it's some of the same people. Um, this is this was released on Hula Records here in Hawaii, but Hula also had some deal where some of their recordings were picked up by London Records. And this is one of them um, where they were released nationally or internationally on the London label. Beautiful album, traditional songs, all of them uh, about certain locales on the big island of Hawaii. And we'll stop there and listen to some needle drops. <laughs> Taxi! Taxi! My, 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 
Watching. I hope you enjoyed those needle drops. Uh, if you'd like to hear more, you can listen to my YouTube channel called Hawaiian Leisure Hour or on 8tracks.com, also Hawaiian Leisure Hour. And I'd love to hear from you. If you have any of these records or any questions or interest or stories about any of this kind of music, I'd love to hear. Um, so have a good week and we'll talk to you next time.